Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to download the Tiny11 ISO for Windows 11 version 25H2. Microsoft has already published the official ISO file for the latest preview of Windows 11 version 25H2 and you can actually use it to create a custom ISO file using the Tiny11 Builder. This is a third-party script designed to customize and streamline the, the installation of the operating system. This tool allows you to remove most of the default apps, run the operating system and lower end hardware, and you can install version 25H2 on unsupported hardware and using a local account. Now, first you need to go to this website, which is the Windows Insider Preview Downloads page. Make sure you sign in with your Microsoft account, then scroll down. And here, that's where we are going to download the ISO file for Windows 11 version 25H2. So here, just select the latest preview available. In this case, we need to download the Windows 11 Insider Preview build 26200, which corresponds to the next feature update for the operating system. Click Confirm. Now select the language, click Confirm. And now we're going to download the ISO file to your computer. Now. While the ISO file is downloading, let's go to this GitHub page to download the Tiny11 Builder script. And on the releases page, you need to download the latest version available. In this case, it's the one for September 2025. And on this page, we're going to download the zip version of the package. Now, after the files have been downloaded, just open the location where you save those files. And in this case, we're going to select the Tiny11 Builder zip file and then we're going to select the extract button and click the extract button again. Now we're going to right click the ISO for version 25H2 and then we're going to select the mount option. After the ISO is mounted, make sure to confirm the drive letter. In this case, it's E. You can see it here and in here. Now let's open the Windows Terminal We're going to run this as administrator. And then we're going to open a PowerShell console. And then we're going to run this command to allow the Tiny11 Builder script to run on the computer. Now, make sure to note the location for the script, which is this path and in particular case. Just right click and copy this location. And then we're going to build a command like this that includes the ampersand space, the path, for the location of the Tiny11 script. And then we're going to use the Tiny11maker.ps1. Now to start, just press enter. And here we're going to type R and then press enter. And in here we're going to specify the drive letter for the mount point of the ISO file, which in this case is E, and press enter. In the next step, we need to confirm the index number for the edition of the operating system that we want to create the image for. Now, if you want to create the Tiny11 ISO for Windows 11 Home, choose index one. Now, if you want to create the ISO file for Windows 11 Pro, use the index number of six. So for this demo, I'm just going to type six and then press enter. And now the Tiny11 Builder is going to proceed with the creation of the custom ISO file. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that we have two different scripts, the Tiny11 Maker and the Core Maker. Now, if you choose the Tiny11 Maker script, then the process is going to uninstall all these apps. Now, if you choose to use the Tiny11 Core Maker, then the process is going to create an ISO file without these apps plus components. Now, it is important to note that this process is going to take some time. So just let the script run in the computer. And that's it. Now the custom ISO file has been created. So just press enter to exit the script. Finally, you want to run this command to set the most secure PowerShell execution policy. Now, if we go to the folder where we extracted, where we extracted the files for the Tiny11 Builder, we're going to find the ISO, which you can see right here. And that's it. That is how you use the Tiny11 Builder script to create a custom ISO file for Windows 11 version 25H2. Remember to leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.